got my prawn curry, didn't you? Yeah, I'm having chicken curry and boiled rice because I'm eating a bit healthier now. I'm starving, you. Man, I'm hungry. Hang on, that's, that's Dennis, isn't it? What, Dennis the Menace? And the hard to kill bloke. Hold on, is that Big John? And the run for bull? Who's the lanky virgin? Who are you after, lads? We're going to get our Chinese. Where can I come? What's in it for us? We've got a big bag of Haribos. Haribos? Dennis the Menace McCann meets Big John and offers him Haribos in return for a Chinese. Now this could be the start of something special. Or little Dennis could be in big, big trouble. Oh, go on then. Deal? Deal. But it was a deal. Dennis and Big John were in business. And now I welcome you to episode four of the Big John Chinese sit-down. We are proud to host British professional boxer, Dennis McCann. Bosh. Dennis McCann was 14 and 0 with eight knockouts and he was climbing the ranks in the boxing world, catching the eyes of millions around the globe with his ferocious but technically sound style. And now he's found himself here, jumping out of Big John's van in the middle of Romford. It don't get much better than that. Gonna see Rufus Witch. Nasty. That's right, we were heading back to the best Chinese restaurant around, the Blue Orchid. And this time, we had extra muscle in the form of Dennis the Menace McCann. But if there were any blokes at all that could deal with Dennis, it was these two, Ruthless Richard and Dangerous Daniel. We knew how nasty they could be, so we had to keep them sweet, keep them cushy, in case things went south. But it looked like things were running as smooth as the curry sauce that would be all over Big John's Chinese when he got home. So we got the goods, and we got out of there. Four bags of Chinese tonight. Let's have it! Bah! What's better than four bags of Chinese? Four bags of Chinese with Dennis McCann. It was on. Little Dennis and Big John were ready to play up and indulge in some of the finest cuisine known to the Bosch soldier. This is lovely, look. Look at that. Chicken curry. I'm uh, on my diet, Will. Skinny lager. 89 calories, isn't it? I'm not on diet, so I'm on devout. 89 calories, Stuart. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, well thanks for coming, lads. Did you get it all right? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. What do you think of the bull? Did you say the chicken? Chinese said the chicken balls are good. Very, very good. No, what do you think of the Chinese restaurant yourself? Alright. Yeah, very yeah. good, yeah. Very Smart good. Smart than that. Nice it now. We've been going there for years. Absolutely years. Did they give us a special dish? Pass that to Louis. But there was one man I forgot to introduce. Dennis McCann's fitness coach. Commando veteran and head of operations of Hard to Kill, a training program designed for the elite minded to make you, well, hard to kill. So this was one dangerous man. But anyway, let's get this show on the road. Bosh. Any Harry Bow curry though? No? There's no Harry Bow curry, unfortunately. Harry Bow curry. Yeah. Yeah, we could start up a new thing there. So how long, how long have you two been working together? Well, a couple of years now. Yeah. Two years now, aren't Two years now, And do you feel the improvement? Definitely, yeah, I feel a lot stronger, definitely. A lot stronger, yeah. yeah. What sort of training are you doing? Is it very like? Oh, it's different. Um, like, yeah. We do, we do, we do the, 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 the mountain head reps and that's me. Like we're doing cardio after 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 our strength. We do all different stuff, all different stages, and that. Yeah, it all depends on the phase of camp he's at. Yeah. But like typically the last like eight weeks will always look similar. Yeah. But when we're out of camp, it's just about bringing up any potential deficits or, or just doing stuff like. Breaking PBs don't really yeah, that's yeah. Really good, yeah. That's right, and I would just like to point at this part. Everyone that runs a London Marathon does a great job, right? I couldn't do it, so that's off to him. But this gentleman did the London Marathon equivalent, <laughs> tossing tractor tyres over. How long did it take you? 34 hours. 34 hours? Yeah. All the way through, yeah? All the way through, yeah. Guinness Book Record, haven't they? We didn't, we didn't go Guinness Verified because no. yeah, they're just they're, they're hard to deal with. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, what's the new half an hour on, half an hour off? But we had to do a Guinness Book of Records state at one clip each. And, uh, we I bet it's hard, you've got to motivate the other person as well, because if one person starts flagging, it brings the other person Yeah, there. and and you knew when one of you was flagging because it'd go quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to talking, definitely. Yeah, and it, it was when the sun went down. When the sun went down, it was oh. the longest night. Do you know what? It's, I can see the correlations between that and having a Chinese. Okay. When it all goes quiet, you're struggling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sweats. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but then you find a second wind. Did you find your second wind? <laughs> yeah. As soon as I'm good, my yeah. Can we, uh, can we pan the camera? Because we've got the flag man with us. The flag man, a veteran of the game and a well-respected figure in the Kampo prawn underworld, 
how he got his name, the Flagman, is a spine tingling towel for the wicked. But that's a story for another day. I've got a bit healthier tonight, I'm losing weight. So chicken curry, boiled rice, and a little bit of beef and onions there. I'm not gonna double dip, I'm not gonna triple dip. I'm gonna keep it as it is. We'll see, we'll see how far that goes. Where's the best place you've boxed? Where would you say? Well, I say. Only white shirt, first of all. 14. 14, so you're yeah. moving up there, aren't you? Yeah. 14. The yeah. uh, best place I boxed was an island one time, the, the Mekong on the couch, when you fought... Is uh, it Belfast? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think there's like 15,000 people there. Yeah, wow. that was a good like, atmosphere. Oh, yeah. it was great. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. What's it like at your call? you box at your call? Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like it. Huh? I, can't, I won't actually refuse the boxer anymore, I don't like it. And why don't you like it? What's I feel like I feel like a heat up in there, you know? Yeah. It's hard to explain it. I feel like that. I feel like a sweat. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's hard to explain to you. Yeah. Uh, and you're doing long rounds, what you'll realise, you're doing like 10 rounds and stuff like that, and that venue is so hot. I'm telling you, you overheat battle. Everyone's on top of you as well. Yeah. yeah. And you overheat, it's hard to explain to you. You sweat so much in there. Yeah. I, got, I remember, like, four rounds in, I remember my socks being wet. Oh my god. I sweat bad on my feet, and I was kind silly. Well, I sweat bad on my so feet. So it's like extra, extra yeah. stress on you. It's great, it's a joke. So for me, I don't want to box anymore to be honest with you. Have you boxed at the O2? Boxed at the O2 a couple of times. It's good there. I love it there. Like probably one of the best I've boxed as well. Yeah. It's my favourite yeah. one. For me it's my favourite, you? Yeah, yeah. I, like I know it's not that. I do like the old copper box. No, yeah. <laughs> copper box would be good, yeah. We've been there a couple of times, for his neck. I do like the old copper box, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. I reckon the old two is the best, yeah. Yeah, but a copper box is a great little venue, isn't it? Yeah, like, I'm going to say little. You it's know, a big venue, but it's nice. It's nice. It's good location. I like Wembley Arena as well. I like it in there. I don't like Wembley Arena. I like it. No. Don't like it. Like it. Well, it's not. too awkward to get to, I think I just... Yeah. No, that part, but I like the, the actual venue. The other one was a good one. Sheffield. Sheffield was nice, wasn't it? Sheffield was, was good. Sheffield was good. Didn't like Ali Pally, really. Like Ali Pally was, was good. We had a like, really good atmosphere there. But, but then again, you got to walk up about a mile. It's so hard to get there. It's so hard. I had to park my car down. Yeah. Bottom down, of the hill. Yeah, I know. And I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I thought and I got run over by a bus when we got to the top of it. You know, you're just like... It's getting there and getting out. It's hard. It's not, yeah. for me. it's not for me. That's place. why the O2 is good because of the transport. Parking and everything. It's yeah. just ha less hassle than that. I wouldn't say your favourite, though. I would just say O2, yeah. O2 is probably the best. Yeah. 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 No, it's, not, it's kind of our manner a little bit as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's really like central. Yeah. 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 Sheffield, uh, Sheffield Arena was good as well. Like, I did like that. Yeah. Different fa new fans as well, isn't it? Yeah. And, like, we had bike. Instead of it, we had a big section. You know, like when you fight in the O2 or Wembley, we've had like all the way around, there's been my supporters, but in there we had like a thousand in one section of the Sheffield yeah. Arena, and it was like, I could hear all the noise no, so, yeah. coming from one part. But you got, you got a lot of support up North anyway, haven't you? So yeah. yeah, that's good. A lot of people came, it was supporting other boxers, yeah. but support Johnny as yeah. well. So that was good. That. That's what you want to do, you want to try and build up from all round, you know, I'm not just add yours. Course. Yeah. But I found most of my fans are out from all around. Yeah, yeah. It's good. that's what you want. Do you find as you as you go on, like get five, six, seven, eight fights in, you deal with the crowd a lot better. Yeah, that's what I found. Yeah, but I, I, the crowd was yeah. yeah. it, it didn't bother me. Really? The more the better, I, I like. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. you thrive off it, didn't you? Yeah. When we were talking earlier on, you said you've been full time since 10. Yeah. So did you leave school at 10? Left school at 10, yeah. Left school at 10 and just concentrated on? Left school at 10. I worked. I was working with my dad, uh, yeah. roof and that. And I got my license at 17. Then I started driving, but travelled from Birmingham, so I was like 10. A little bit, about four. Yeah. I had a backpack on, yeah. like three and a half, four hour train journey from Birmingham to London. Train, and do the same back. Jeez. Let's go home about 11 o'clock in the night over there. So you've like, you've grown up a lot quicker than a lot of other, yeah, yeah, that's it. other people, yeah. the same age. Maturity, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah you matured quicker. Got married at 18. Yeah. I've got a baby now. Yeah. I know, I see you've got a baby, didn't you? Yeah, a baby now. What's it like? Has it changed a lot? Me and Grandpa was saying. Has it changed a lot? Has it changed a lot? Yeah, it has definitely. It's a different look at things really, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Not, not better than family, is there? No. Your life changes when you become a dad. Yeah. It just yeah, changes. Yeah, but you're a man overnight and all that, isn't really, I think. So Louis, you're, what is it? Hard to kill? Yeah. So what is that? Explain to me what that is. So, it's too long. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, so I'm joking, mate. <coughs> no pepper. <prepper. laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just trying to. Smack trying to get them, bitch. <laughs> Everyone, look at Louis. Nah, because I'm just. It's <laughs> trying to differentiate between. Yeah. Because I've, I've heard of it. Yeah. But I, I can't. I've heard of it. I've got, but I, I can't quite. And William's heard of it as well. You knew what it was. Basically. So, educate. So, 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 it's hard to kill. It's hard to kill. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm the head of operations inside the program. So, Mark Rhodes is the founder of it. I'm his number two. 
oh, it's essentially like leading driven individuals, male and female, but predominantly males, to just like live a more robust and resilient life. So we typically get a lot of military blokes or people. So they, they come to you and yeah. you sort of put them on a program. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, but it's full shebang. It's not. It's, it's like, like pulling. A, yeah, yeah, it's not a cookie cutter diet and training plan. It's so there's like a heavy psychological aspects to it. Lifestyle, nutrition, training, like it's, it's, it's all encompassing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can see you got the protein in there as well, though. Yeah. What's that? You did tell me to get the protein in. I did say you get the protein in. Yeah. It's the all encompassing, but you've also got the fat and the carbohydrates there, so exactly. all encompassing. Exactly. No, but that's really that's really like interesting. What yeah, you're it's good because you hear about people doing these sort of things, but like our, our Christmas day before Christmas, most people are out on a out piece of camp for a meal. We went up penny fan in the snow. Like that was like, like that represented the, the company, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to that's the mentality. Yeah. What yeah. you've got in there. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it is it's what it says on the tin. Being hard to kill. Yeah. It's interesting. Do you think you could do anything with William? Yeah. I think he's a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you could do anything about I'd, I'd being be a bird? I'd be dead by the end of the program. Yeah. It'd be easy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy to kill. <laughs> It'd be easy to kill. Will, should we set up a new program? Easy to kill. Yeah. We well, just eat Chinese and drink beer. That's what we do that. Or for William, because he's a virgin, it'd be hard to get a bird. Ah. Uh, Will, so it's been three weeks since we formed the first one. You was a virgin then. Are you still a virgin now? I'm always a virgin. I'm a child of God. I'm waiting until marriage. Oh, that's very good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. So William's a virgin. Yeah. Virgin, virgin. Nothing wrong with that, Johnny, is it? No, nothing. Mm. <laughs> Better you than me, my friend. Better you than me. Yeah. <laughs> You might say that after you've done it, Will. Yeah. After you've done it, it's going to go, bah. No, he's not going back. No. Look at his mum. His mum is waiting to protect him. No. Leave him alone. Shouldn't be having these conversations in front of your mother. What should you do? No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So you go up. Yeah. Right, well in that case, Will, shut, shut you is, are you an anal virgin? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, do you think you could help Big John lose weight? I thought he was going to say Big John do anal. <laughs> I went for time in the room and took my carrot and put the water in a day. I think I can do it. <laughs> Mentally torturing. Listen, that is the first time, first time in years. On a Friday, you get a slice of bread for your camps. Thank you very much. But that is the first time in years I've had full Chinese in front of me. And I haven't touched a chicken ball, oh, I haven't touched sweet and sour chicken, I haven't touched a roast. You still haven't bought the Chinese. No, he's going to come out and want to cook. Boiled rice. Boiled rice. Yeah, boiled rice. It's still under the dinner. It's my dinner. It's my dinner. It's my dinner. I'm a big man. It's my dinner. Dad, I'm not going to say it. Chicken balls in his bucket, though. Yeah, no, don't talk about it. Pop is a fella. Don't talk about it. That is delicious. What? That's the best roast pork Chinese style. I can't because I'm on a diet. I'm just getting true to my beliefs. Dennis, it was good, wasn't it? It was good. John, John believes in his abilities. No, I said to Louis, this is my dinner tonight. So I've had a lunch of jacket potato, and this is my dinner. Well, that pork. Skiddy lager, look, 89 calories, just to be sociable. Harry Bowes. Harry Bowes, yeah, Harry Bowes might be. Right, push me over the edge. Yeah. We'll try a bit of that pork. Try a bit of that. It's got a nice bit of fat on that. Yeah, it's like rib meat. Something you need. Yeah, it does. Mm. Oh, Sumptuous. Do you know what? William's got the same physique as Fury. Mm. He's got a nice jab, but he just hasn't got the push. Do you think you could do anything with him? Push him into. Uh, he's still only 19. Can, can, can you train? Can you train someone to have the mental push? Do you think cut? you've ever got it or not? I have got um, the mental push. So I just choose not to. Yeah, it's just limit. It's just graded exposure to it. You just need. Like the mental push. Then, you can't take him to ten if he's not been to one. Yeah. So yeah. it's just pushing yeah. steps. Yeah. yeah. You got to go. I bet. What's it? Trying to get him to be a zero to hero, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, zero so to, to hero. hero yeah. Yeah. Mm. Apart from your point of view, I bet it's good when you see someone that you don't really think can get there, mm. and then they get there. Have you had any of that? Has anyone ever like sort of surprised you? So I used to, I used to be the lead physical training instructor for the commando beat up. So it's the preparation course for trained soldiers yeah. to go and do the commando course. Yeah. And we, you'd get seventy lads turn up, and twenty would go down yeah. to do the course. And on there every time you'd get. 10% of them would be surprises. Yeah. From day one, you're like, he ain't gonna make it. Yeah. You get followed by everybody, but they become like your favourites because they, because they yeah, just they prove like, you wrong. They prove you wrong. Yeah. yeah. So what? Saying that Francis Warren surprised me the other day. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Francis Warren. Did a run yeah. the other day, 14k. Come and run with us. Yeah. He's got them up the cliff at the end. I don't even understand. Do we'll do this next week? Was 13 kilometers. 13k. But it's nasty. Where did you do it? Is that on the way? Yeah. When you buy the sea? Yeah. I see you in Chapman's. 
Was that this morning? Morning, yeah. Yeah, it was with uh, Future, weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Will. That this morning, I'm jumping to see after. I tried it, it was coming from the box as well. Yeah. So I said to you, didn't I, Charlotte? I said he's in the seats, that must have been freezing. Oh, I can't. Where well, was this it? This morning, it's a hive. hive. Remember I showed yeah, you on, yeah. on Instagram? But minus one is one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's freezing it's cold. 13 kilometres is a lot. There's about five more yeah, in the seats. Yeah. It's hard. I've, the most I've ever done is a 10k, that's the furthest I've ever gone. But at the end, the last three k you've got to climb the mountain at the end. So it's like, yeah, so that's, the, that's the middle part. It's, it's, it's a cliff. It keeps me a man in a cliff. <laughs> I'm making a cliff the same thing. <laughs> fall over. Come on, mate, I'm Irish. Yeah, I know, yeah. mate. Just, people are going to think it's a man in a cliff. We do, we do a lot over Hainal Forest. We do like mm. one, like a seven kilometre run through the forest. And forest. Run, it's not really a forest though, is it? It's about three trees. Yeah, it's about, it's about <laughs> three trees. And then you do your sprints and then you do a seven kilometre run back. So that was, but it's broken up. It's right? nasty, but this is how it is. This yeah, is, that's harder. Because seven K, have a break, have some sprints, have another break. 7k. No, it's but the worst thing I've ever done was the Leon C steps. Oh, yeah, you've done that with Danny from VRP, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, you've done that with Danny from VRP. I've never had that. I've done yeah. that. I've done it before. Yeah, yeah, that, it picked yeah. me up at 7am in the morning on a Sunday. I think it's nasty. I said, I'll go the night before. Sunday, I, woke, I woke up and I thought, fuck's sake, while I say it. <laughs> yeah, you've committed me up. Yeah. And then we did it. Obviously, I was a bit behind him because he does it all the time. And I thought it was done. We've done it about six times or whatever. He said, right, we'll go up this time, go round, go up again, and then down again. What did you say? The route back down was about a two kilometre run as well. So I ended up dead in the car. <laughs> still went to this car and I'm still, yeah. I've never seen him again. <laughs> Danny. Danny, down. Danny from VIP HQ. That's yeah. down. You've ruined him. Yeah. You've ruined him. Funny story, I was in the boy, it was there for Christmas, yeah? I was on my family on a break. So I always take my boxing boots and my boxing boots wherever I go, yeah? Do you? Always, wherever I go. Every holiday I go on, every time. Really? Generally do. So basically, I went there, what, so I was there anyway, so. So I, tell, so I know a fellow over there, so he told me, oh, I got know a good gym over there, a Cuban gym, yeah? It's in the boy, it's a good gym. Where are you? Where are you? In the boy now, yeah? The oh, the boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that as well, yeah. Yeah, in the boy. Yeah. So there's these Cubans, called super, they're called the Super 5, yeah? Super 6 or Super 5, one yeah, over yeah. there, yeah? So someone, they're that good, so I'm paid for them to come over, live in the boy, pay for them, open the gym for them and all. Yeah. Two, like, oh, there's five or six from like serious fighters all together, do you know what I mean? Like three amateur fighter pace. So it's about for the ice bar, you had an 8 no, like, and you had 8 no, 6 knockouts, yeah? yeah. This was a big deal. So I, I never realised who I was sparring, I never knew who I was sparring. But I said, yeah, go on, I'll spar. Like, no, no, I ain't, no, I'll spar, no worries. So I so had a few cocktails that night, I know, I forgot back about the sparring, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So I had a few cocktails that night, anyway, yeah? Got a bit over merry, I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah? yeah. You know what you know, I'm sorry. Over merry. Right, a bit over merry. I'm not gonna say over drunk. Over merry is good. Over merry yeah. is good. I'm not gonna say drunk, it's over merry. It's a new term, it's a new term. Yeah. And uh, so, bang, so the fella I know from over there, the mate, was ringing me, um, ringing me like me, me room number, yeah. I told me room number the night before. I told him this, but I've got blank about the spam. Got me carried away that night with the boys, yeah. yeah? About it, yeah. And basically, he got the people reset to ring me phone, ring me phone. So back I put the phone on airplane mode. They ran me, then they ran me, uh, my actual room number phone, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so this is about half six in the morning, half seven in the morning, something like that, yeah. One year, so I had to go. So I got myself half drunk, I said, shit. Sir. And you went, you went so far enough. I went out of the fridge, got a can of coke from him, come back to normal, yeah? Yeah. So I, if I had five cocktails, I'm, yeah. I'm right after. I, I mean. couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be gone. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was gone, yeah? You so spying? I come in, come into the Cuban gym. I never knew I was sparring. I want to see him. It's like mini gear, look like look like mini Mike Tyson. Show you this case, his muscles popping out for the honey. Yeah. If I had a ten pack, it's a big enough for punch. <laughs> if I was two ways to bump me, they even really much. He, 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 this guy's tense, so I'll be shadow boxing. I thought it was a spar from average geezer at the time. Yeah. He thought it was a machine I was sparring, yeah? So Banks and Mates, I thought we were headguard, I never know headguard, no dumb shit, I was going to spar a little bit anyway. Yeah. So Banks have got his headguard, I said, Bang, I'm more than dumb shit over there. So, fuck, I said, jump in, I said, I could I'm still half tipsy in the ring, that's why I was shadow boxing. Sorry, you just in Dubai? Yeah, yeah. And you were on the holiday? Yeah. And you decided to spar a mini Mike Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The proper C. Proper, yeah. He's really, he's really, he's really, 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 I'm half gone now, I'm thinking, I'm not going to show box anymore, sir. <laughs> I'm a reservist, sir. Yeah. So I'm not that fit as this, we thought it was yeah. three, four weeks, four weeks. Yeah. They're not but eight. So you've let, you've let yourself yeah, 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 four, four weeks, four weeks is the last time. I do it once a year before Christmas, yeah. right? I let myself go a little bit on Christmas. Got to let yourself go. Yeah, so Christmas. I just want to come out, and Tanya come out swinging. So shit, so sip, 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 trying to get away from the road. I thought I was going to be an average guy, I thought I was going to be a serious guy. 350 amateur fighters, I've known, yes. 350. 350 amateur fighters, it's a serious dude. So I said, I ain't having this, everyone's watching me, three of my mates are watching me, yeah. Got All these Cuban fellas, it's the biggest thing for them in the world. Ding ding for the bell went, there's a big thing, do you know what I mean? Bang the covers. Yeah. It's I told him it. I looked around and said, shit, it's like a fight or something. Yeah, yeah. So I ain't having this set. I just jumped up a big screw shot, pop, pop, and pussy's nose. <laughs> Hat, you have her
Anyway, more of the story is I bashed them up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't happy. Perhaps you should have some uh, four or five cocktails before your next fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> might, do you, might do you good, I'm, might I'm, they? Not, the only Cubans are all like flashy. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. I zoomed the hinge and they make them look silly. Yeah, yeah, make like, like, them You went mad because. You went back to basics because you knew you had to, yeah. you had to fight and uh, give it, oh, give you some. Yeah, I had to give them some. It's unbelievable though, on your holiday, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do what we can. We've been playing water polo. We've been playing water polo in Cyprus somewhere. I couldn't imagine it. So all. Just, 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 just to get a bit too, yeah. No, we'd be playing a water polo, but that'd get a bit too serious. Yeah. Right? Oh, the water polo. We used to play water polo. We used to have a team that yeah. taught, it's like a touring team. It was all we? like, we used to go away with like my mates yeah. and their wives with all their kids. Yeah. So it's like Brad, Jimmy, Steve. Yeah. And all and their like, kids. We'd be all our kids our age, like our mates. So they'd all be them and we, it'd be us against like. And Russia, there'd be some Russian yeah. And we was unbeaten and it used to get really. Uh, but not, not quite as good as your story, yeah. uh, Dennis. <laughs> but their water polo team was a legend. We used to do the midday entertainment at the. Yeah. Well, what about your entertainment in Mexico, the windmill? Oh yeah, I did the uh, windmill. <coughs> oh, yeah. We had to run across the the middle of the pool and massive. I like, done that. Like, the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, the Was that yeah. in Cancun? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we went to the other side. On the other side. I know we talked about that. Alta on the other side. Yeah, you've been there. You've been there. You told me you've been to that hotel. Yeah. The thing is, you you walked up to it and then they asked you all these questions and they said you've got to dance while the music starts playing. I didn't know what to do, so I started going my arm like that. There's a musical sausage. It's called musical sausage. Musical sausage. Doing my arm. And just no, it says you calm down, calm down. Yeah, they had to tell me to stop. It's going so fast. My arm was going. I didn't know my arm could move like that. He went really red, right? Burned himself really badly and he started calling himself the Krusty Krab. So, Henry, put that footage in when you see it. What is your name? Where are you from? The UK! Are you ready? On the count of three. One! Ah, no, no, she's from. You need to dance. You need to dance. That's right, you need to dance. DJ, Sule! William's a virgin, William's a virgin, William's a virgin. Put that on the uh, virgin on my How much, how many duvels have you had? Number one. This is a skinny lager. Are you not having the skinny lager? This is a skinny lager. Oh, you haven't had a duvel. I've had a duvel. Oh, he's had a duvel. Now he's on a skinny lager. Three of the duvels. Oh, you well, I had the kind of set one. Where I've had, where you've had you, you've had a drink. I had three gulps of it. And I wasn't drunk, but you know, you can feel it. No, the gallon's 12%. No, the one we had in the duvelorium. Oh, we went to the place called, they've got a bar called the duvelorium, which is unbelievable, just duvel. And it's just like you sit there, but you could just sit there all day. Right, we're in Bruges, in Flanders, Belgium, and we're going to the Duvelorium. Can't wait. Bosh. Now, we know Big John likes a Duvel, but he travelled all the way to Bruges, Belgium, to the heartland of Duvel, where it's made in the Duvelorium. Big John wanted to taste Duvel from source, and that's what he did. Four Duvels. Can't beat it. Bosh. Four Duvels. Love it. Bosh. Do you not sort of say like, do you get it? Like, you, I'm not drunk, but you just like, yeah. you're shocked. Lightweight. Like, if yeah. Johnny ever talks to a bird in the club and she talks back, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll, get, I'll get those bits. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I learned from William. She's actually spoke. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Bless me. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you, Virgin. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you, Virgin Father. <laughs> right, do you want me to ask you a few questions I've got on uh, well, Instagram on, before my phone uh, runs out? First question. Lewis Housel, 15. Who was your favourite boxer as you were growing up? Good question, this. Who did you look up to? Probably Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford, yeah. yeah. He'd been great And he's still boxing now, isn't he? Yeah, so, he's still boxing now, yeah. yeah so, so he was great for the last seven or eight years. Yeah, so um, that's like when you turn in pro, like. Terence Crawford, Joe Kawasaki. Terence Crawford, Joe Kawasaki. He's great, Joe Kelsaki, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I watched Edwin, Edwin Valeria, a little bit Valeria, I think. Yeah. I watched him years ago. Yeah. I liked him a lot. But Prince of Zim as well, definitely. Was yeah. that Prince of Zim was when you was young, young, right? Young, young, yeah. Yeah, when you was a young kid. Right, right. right. this is a bit of a controversial one. You might not answer. Would you ever go to Eddie Hearn's match room? No comment. No comment. <laughs> That's, a good, <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> it's 10 million quid. Yes. <laughs> How much? Yeah. <laughs> What did Dennis win as an amateur? Uh, so I won nine national titles 
So no end national title. Nine, yeah, so I won the school boys, I won the junior ABAs three times, I won the youth ABAs was it two times or three times? Two times. I won the uh, uh, CYPs two times. I won so you won all like the three juniors, days, you name it. Because you turned pro. Yeah, turned turned too pro too young, like too yeah, young. You turned pro at seventeen, so yeah, yeah. And I mean, for a pro fight, that was a week. How many fights did you have? Had fifty four and fifty one. Really? A bit, so a bit to too many battles back, but to win, to win all them titles in fifty fights as well is a good achievement because yeah. you're yeah. so. Yeah. Like, I've always heard you say that like hundred, hundred. Yeah, no, I never had, I never had no club shots. It's all I got chucked straight into after, after two fights. Did the right two fe uh, two extra fights on my card. Yeah, so, yeah. so you can go into the open class. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, not open class, but into yeah. competition. Yeah, yeah. 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 so that's what I know, getting get the school boys. Yeah. And people are fighting, they're doing like 20, 20 fights. They like, use like, yeah. That's great. Right. It's from Unbelievable. Sink or swim, isn't it? Yeah. And you was with the Reptor, weren't you? Reptor Master, yeah. yeah. Right, this is from Danny U.7. The best amateur you ever fought. Yeah, it's not a very hard question, that. There's two of them, I reckon. Yeah. So I reckon one of them is a fella from Ireland. He went to the Youth Olympics, like World Games, won, won the Europeans, two-time European civil medalist, what a great fighter. He's, he's on the pathway to the Olympics now. It's Dean Canty. Dean Canty. Dean Canty. Dean Clancy. Dean Clancy. So he's he's going to the Olympics now. So he's yeah, he's on the pathway. To the Olympics. He's still the same age as you, but he's still amateur. Yeah. And he's going down he's, that he's road. About, he's about 64 kilo now. He's going grooming me enough. So he's out growing yeah. So he wants to bash me up, he can bash me up. Dean Clancy. Dean Clancy. Yeah, I reckon we fought. I, 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 I beat him. I think I beat him in the in the Harrogate Boss Cup in Ali Pali. Yeah, you boxed that. Yeah. 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 yeah, good fight. Good, good, good fight. Who's the other one? You said two. Who's the other and one? And Janae Boston is fine. Yeah. Oh, Janae Boston. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. with Vestia. Yeah. Good. He looks yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. I beat him twice. He's a good fighter. Very yeah. good fighter. How old is Janae? Is he the same age as you? No, he's younger than me. Twenty-one. He's twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one. So that's your. Yeah, he's yeah. like. But what I saw, I saw like what a lot of boxers are like, which I like, is their. Cop sure of himself. Yeah, he's a very good fighter. He can back it up, you know. Yeah, a very good fighter. Yeah, but he was he met me and your mum and he was very respectful. Yeah, not respectful with it. Do you know what I mean? So he's now he's now a middleweight, isn't he? So if he wants to bash me up as well, he's still got a chance. Yeah, he probably bashed me up as well. No, no, he's still got a chance. Look, this one again from Danny U. Seven, probably the same as everyone else. Any fight news? Everyone's everyone's asking. I think it might be the fifteenth of April. Maybe the copper box O two one euro. It'll be another big big step up in the opponent as well. How many rounds are you fighting now? Ten rounds, isn't it? Ten, twelve. Yeah. I think twelve next year. Yeah. Twelve. Brilliant. Now this is a name you might know because he's a big fan of Johnny's. He comes a lot of Johnny's fights. Zach Boyle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zach Boyle. Zach. He just wants to say you're a top man, Dennis. You're so focused on boxing, it's unbelievable. Love him, man. Zach. So, he's a good, he's a good he's man. A proper fan. gentleman. He's yeah, proper, he is. proper boxing. Fan. I don't, yeah, I never see him miss a fight. To be honest. No, he's a proper yeah. boxing he fan. He buys tickets every single fight. He's he always there. For a page. Right. This is from Pala.ce12. What is your favourite Chinese dish? Good question. I'll have to go with the beef curry. Beef curry, yeah. I'll have to go with the beef, beef curry. curry too. First time I've had a bit of beef curry tonight. Look nice, yeah, yeah. nice. Oh, really you did really bash good. something there, my yeah, friend. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had one spoonful. Oh! oh. <laughs> Cheap. Cheap. Any advice? This is from core 10 Any advice you'd give to up and coming young boxers? Definitely. So for me, I thought hanging around the right people, as you probably know yourself, Johnny. We're running young. You are the company you keep. Exactly. We've, yeah. we've obviously went off the wrong path. If you, like we have running young babies. Yeah. Really, really in the game. You can be it. manipulated easily by very people. Easy, very easy. Yeah. Very easy. Very easy. Very We don't do, yeah. we don't drink, do we? We don't. We're impressionable party. as well. You know, like you can be around people and you, you, you're young and impressionable. Oh, I like this. So yeah. You think, he treat me nice. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And you want to go out? And your mates are going out clubbing. Oh, I'll come. You're going. Yeah. You're going sober, but still you're in. The, you're still you're in, in the right environment, environment where people are getting you're not, dressing, you're not yeah. resting at home, you're not you're not getting the right food in, you're exactly. out until two in the morning. That's so the stay same. stay disciplined and stay keep with the right people. See with the right yeah. people have have, have a That's great advice. Team. Kieran Rodden six. How many Harry Bow can Dennis fit in his mouth? <laughs> How many do you reckon? We could try it later, couldn't we? Yeah. 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 I reckon we could fit a pack in there. Yeah. What? Bag pack. What? Oh, he's got Yeah. He's good, he's good. Yeah, he's going to do it. You want a bowl for him? Or not? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I'd have a bowl. How about get another yeah, pack and see if Johnny like can do the same That's as well? Yeah. Oh, have a, have a competition. Yeah, he's got a big amount of me now. I don't know if I'm out for it. He's got a Yeah, but he's, he's, a, he's a bit of a wuss. Yeah, yeah, he's still yeah, starting yeah. going. <coughs> no, look, they've got the curry, cold curry, lumpy curry. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny. What about the eggs? What about the eggs? I'm still cheating with that. Come on, give William a pack. I'll bet every pound I've got. Pretty well. I'm home. <laughs> There's a song about that, isn't there? How many, Johnny? Bro. How many, Dennis? 
29. 29. 29. Oh, Dennis. Oh. Remember, you can just spit out there. Right, well done. Good effort. 29. How many, Johnny? 30. Mm -hmm. Who's going to beat you? Oh, mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. 30. Right, go on. Go one for one. Go one for two. Yeah, that's not Thirty-seven, thirty-six. Thirty-seven. <coughs> 37. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Forty. 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 Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty-four. Oh. <laughs> Forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Oh my God. <laughs> He's done. You've got your whole back, Johnny. That's on the table. Oh, that's disgusting. What's Anyone want a double dip? 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 He's nearly finished. He's nearly finished. He's nearly finished. You've got no whole packet? No, you've got no one to cut your losses. Well done, William. Well done, William. I told you I've got a whole pack. You're a Harry Boy champion. You're a Harry Boy champion, but you're still a virgin. Right. This is from J1.Brown. If you had to choose not bathing for a month or never eating Haribo's again, which would it be? So you haven't got to have a bath for a month and then you'd be out to eat Haribo or you have a bath and you can never eat Haribo again. He's the cleanest man around. He has a shower so he likes. Have a shower instead. I can tell that that's playing with his mind. Have a shower instead. These are questions. I'm going to sit the fence up one guy. Yeah, you can have a shower. One. You can have a shower, not a bath. Oh yeah, a shower. Yeah. No, but it said bathing. Yeah. So that means... Any sort of labour again. Yeah, that means any, yeah. <laughs> I shower about four times. But hold up, it says not for a month. Hell, you, only have, you only have to wash every couple of months. I got a little story. I got a little story, not many people know this. Lockdown. Are you sure you want to say it? Do you this know is what the say? depth of lockdown. No, this is so funny. The depth of the first lockdown, right? You didn't shoot your pants on. No, no. We was working, we was working 18, 19 hour days. Well, I was out delivering. We were in Dagenham delivering half 12 at night. One of the last calls before we come home. Now, in lockdown, you couldn't go in anywhere and go to the toilet. You would go to a petrol garage, you had to order through the, through the thing. Yeah. No one was allowed in the shops. And we're delivering to this house half 12. <laughs> and like, I was doing the driving, so I used to go on the back and get it out. I and take it to the, the house. Pitch back. And I'm thinking, fuck it, I'm going to piss myself here. I think I've got to get out of the van and go piss. I, I had to, but it was too late. Half of it had gone down my leg. I've got the other half out, finished. He gets back in the van, none the wiser. And we're sitting there, we drive, and he goes, <laughs> I can smell piss. <laughs> and you're going, and I never told him, I said, no, nah, no, nah. I said, it must just be something else. I said, put the window down, it'll be alright. <laughs> but you know, when you can't help yourself. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, don't do that. Like, no, no. no, I call them there, I call them a do or die moments. A do or die moments. <laughs> yeah, and I have shit myself in a van before as well. When my dad again, God bless his soul, I got up one day, I said, Dad, I, I used to work with my dad. I said, Dad, I've got really bad stomach, I can't, I can't come to work. I can't come to work, old school, you always got to yeah. work, even if you're not well. Even if you're he went, well, just come and do this delivery, I had to deliver to Hamwell, West London. And I remember I'm really getting there, and I'm thinking, I ain't too bad. Sweats. And I farted, and that was it. <laughs> and I turned up at the thing, and I said to him, mate, you're just going to have to open the door and unload yourself, because I can't get out. And I drove home, just went straight out in the bathroom, went to bed. Oh, I'm glad you had a bathroom. Sat, sat there with uh, well, listen, an hour. most people have had that moment. Yeah, I've shit myself. Most people. You I had it at Chessington. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was waiting to go on a ride at Chessington World of oh, Adventures, came in for about two hours. And then we got, it was about three quarters of the way there. I said to my uncle, I said, oh, God, I've got to go, I've got to go. He's like, come on, we're here now, we've been here for ages. Shit himself in the queue. And it, as, I, as, I went, as I went to sit down on, on the ride, I sat down, and it just all came out. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. I was only about 10. I was only about 10. I wasn't no, was a about five year old man in lockdown. The worst one that you've told us is when we was in Nuki on holiday and you'd done a shit in a new wine. Oh, yeah. We parked up, we parked up. Listen to this. We parked up in Nuki. Charlotte. Anyone that's been to Nuki knows it's really hard to get a parking space. And I'm driving around, I'm thinking, fucking hell, I need to go shit here really bad. <laughs> get a parking space, and I know the toilets are in the middle of the town. So I'm running, getting faster, and I could run in. I'm running, getting faster, there's all people yeah, in the streets, so I'm nearly fucking pushing them out of the way. Get into the toilets, both cubicles for the toilet are locked. 
and I see the urinal, it's like a long one. I was just gonna pull my shorts down and shit in the urinal. And just as I pulled my shorts down, the door opened and I just went in there, but I did have to buy new shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're, all over, we're all oversharing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this story's getting a little bit too far. Yeah. Yeah. Who's I'm asking these questions? Oh, 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 Johnny's got to share his one about the, the pink shorts. No, that's because my trousers ripped. I didn't shit myself. Oh. I did shit myself in Turkey, though. <laughs> cherry right. juice. Right. Right. Cherry right. juice. Right. You know, like you've got them fruit juices. I was watching one of the auditorium theatre things and I thought it's going straight through me here. Yeah. And I walked up the stairs. It's like in these big hotels in Turkey are massive, aren't they? Like, yeah, they're yeah. It's like on a mile walk back. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, it's all going down my, going down my leg. And I'm like, what's on? <laughs> and I thought, fuck it, I'll get a toilet. And I fucking saw a toilet. I'm like, thank fuck, I've got in a cubicle all over. It's fine. Wipe myself up, fine. I get out of the cubicle, it's a fucking woman's toilet. We'll have to use that excuse. Yeah. Right, Brian Sean Fogarty. This might be controversial, might not. I don't think it is from what you've said before. Do you consider yourself Irish? I consider, I think I'm born English, I consider myself English. So you consider yourself English? I consider English. myself English. With Irish heritage? Irish, Irish yeah, heritage. Irish yeah, Irish heritage. Well, that's me, I want you, I say English. Yeah, so. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm half like. You've been, you've born here, you've got your Irish heritage. Irish heritage. Irish heritage, but, like, but yeah. you're born here, it's nice to hear, because a lot of people say, oh no, I'm Irish or I'm English. I'm right. not, I'm English. But yeah. you're English with your Irish heritage, yeah. that's it. I like the accent, that's, that's, about <coughs> that's Most a good yeah. answer. Right, um, you might know this Finn Ho play. When are you next going to Sauce Bar? Do you know where Sauce Bar is? Uh, is it a maidstone? Slap me up for the other. Yeah, no, no comment. He's not going to sort of bar. <laughs> well, that is. Never again. <laughs> Plus, I can't answer that. Look at that one. I can't answer that one. Look. What is it? That's sick. No, oh, that's it. disgusting. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. You normally, Dad, show me. You normally no, say no, 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 about your mum and dad, don't they? I've seen, three or, I've seen three or four words. So you can't see no. it. No. Oh. You can't say that. Right, who is that from? We'll just give him a shout out for being rude. Tom Joe, 620. You're Can't ask that one. Calm down. You're a sick dude, is what I've got to say to you. Yeah. Well, we were talking about this earlier, because it was different to what Johnny was saying. Yeah. What would you want your legacy to be? That's a good question, that is. That's from uh, Treeway. Jay Quirk 22. Treeway. Treeway World Champion. Treeway World Champion. That's, that's like high levels, isn't it? I think I'm doing that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what great. That's, that's great. great. That's great. Yeah. They've done about six times. Yeah. Like, you know, three weight. No, world champion. If you're going over three weights. See, what I like about that, what I like about that answer, you're not just sitting there going, oh, yeah, I want to be a world champion. You're saying three weight world champion. Yeah. Right. I, 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 I swear I like went to weights and. Yeah, but you, can, but you can because you're like, you're. Yeah. You could easily move him up. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be the champion of Romford. That would do me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're not going to get that big D's from Romford. Oh, big D's. Yeah. Right, very nice question this one. Bill Connor SS or Bill Connors S. How's being a new dad going? Very, very good. Yeah. Recommend big time. Best feeling in the world. We've already spoke about this, haven't we? Yeah. It's a great feeling. Best feeling. Couldn't be this. Until they get to this age. Yeah. And then they like. Boom. Yeah, I mean, it looks like him especially as well. Scared yeah. Why are they? Scares the scares the world away, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think he's the one that scared the girls away. He's a virgin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're always moaning at me. I bring loads of girls back all the time. You know, you're always moaning. So, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was, I was trying to joke, but no it's one. David Brent moment. Yeah, no one. That's a David. That's a David Brent moment. No one there. Caught on, no one caught on. Ask <laughs> that question on the left. Oh, what you want to ask one more? So, do you know this bloke, dear? Yeah. Right. This is from Conrad. Is that Conrad Sam Weymouth? Who wins in an arm wrestle? You or Big Midge? Sam Noakes, Big Midge, aren't they? Sam Noakes. Sam Noakes. Oh, Sam Noakes. Is Sam Noakes, Big Midge? Yeah. To be, to be honest, personally, the menace does, does Midge. Yeah, you're gonna do it. We have to see that. You have to do that. Bosh, have you seen? I do that. He's powerful. Have powerful. you seen them in uh, Las Vegas? Them arm wrestling competition. Mm. Yeah, mental. What about the slapping competition? Oh, have you yeah. seen that slap? <gasps> he slapped up his face, and his face ballooned up. Yeah. One slap, and his face ballooned up like that. In in one second. So how do you lose that? You have to give up. Or yeah, you think you have to give up. Or you get knocked out. People get knocked out for the slap. Yeah. Because you think if you slap, yeah, if you slap, it's more like it's more like a slap. It's a hit. It's a slap. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Slap Noakes is a good fight though as well, isn't it? Very good. It's all the ball stoppages, isn't it? Yeah. Ten fights, ten wins, ten stoppages. Same area as me, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So your weight is super, super bad. Yeah. Super bad. So the mom, the mom probably ran super minimal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a bit like me, really. Yeah. And you're super light. Super yeah, light. Super yeah, light. Straw, straw. Well, I'm quite proud straw. of myself because I haven't. I haven't. Uh, no, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not hard to eat one meal. No, it is. is when it? you're a fat bastard like me and you're used to having. Well, yeah, you've got to realise this, this, this is an addiction. This is an addiction. True. It's like my home. Yeah, it's true. It is true. Like, food yeah, is, an is an addiction. Food is an addiction. Like, yeah, like drugs, alcohol, you can be addicted to food. Yeah. Genuinely, can not. You can, yeah. seriously. Yeah, you can. it's an yeah, addiction. Seriously. I know yeah, it's, 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 it's not as dangerous, but it can yeah. be dangerous. Yeah. Oh, it can be dangerous. Can yeah. people stop down? Some people put hundred elbows in their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> can choke. What about you? Me, I'm yeah. 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 I think that no problem. I'll do two packages. Still can't be a bird. <laughs> yeah, but he'd be walking around the clubs with very bows. Look what I can do. You want girls? Give the kiss. Yeah. 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 Result to anything at this point. Yeah, can we start up a, a GoFundMe page, Lady of the Night, for Wilbertross? Because he's a virgin. Or the lay by of the A127. He doesn't do that. Chinese with Dennis McCann. Oh, go on then. The boys were loving it. Chinese, beer, and top class banter that involves talking about shitting yourself and calling William a virgin. Love it. But Dennis was having a moment. He was regretting giving Big John the Maribos right at the start. Dennis, I can't believe I've got these. I really wanted these. You've got a heart of gold. A heart of gold. Thank you very much. No problem, John. So, you might wish they were giving them Maribos? The fat sausage. I really want them back now, to be honest with you. Well, if you want them back, I can help you, Dennis. I'll tell you what, I'll distract him. Watch this. Dad, oh my God, look up there, look. There's a flying flock of chicken balls up there. Chicken balls flying, look. Chicken balls? Yeah. Flying? Nicely done. Dennis really was a menace. There's no chicken balls, Johnny. Flying chicken balls, what are you talking about? Oh, well, they must have flew off. Bash. Right, 30 second Chinese challenge. First up, Dennis McCann, Dennis the Menace, Menace Bash. It was game time and things were about to get competitive. Game one, name as many Chinese dishes as you can in 30 seconds. And first up was Louis. One, go. Prawn crackers, chicken chow mein, beef chow mein, prawn chow mein, mushroom chow mein. Singapore noodles, prawn Singapore noodles, beef curry, chicken curry, prawn Mushroom curry, chai. egg fried rice, chicken fried rice, beef fried rice, prawn fried rice, special fried rice, Singapore fried rice, chicken balls, beef balls, pork balls, prawn balls, my cat's balls, uh, shred, chili shredded beef, chili shredded chicken, Three, two, boiled rice, stop, uh, that's good, 23, right, right. <coughs> let's go, let's go, barbecue sauce, crispy shredded beef, curry sauce, Sweet and sour sauce, chicken chow mein, pork chow mein, beef chow mein, mushroom chow mein, <laughs> special fried rice, egg fried rice, boiled rice, curry sauce, uh, pork balls, chicken balls, <laughs> mushroom balls. Chicken chow mein, beef chow mein, pork chow mein, cream cheddar bake. Stop. Did you say chicken chow mein? You said curry songs twice. Yeah, I took that. That's pretty good. That's pretty really good. That's my best team so far. It was time for the next game. And this game was brought to you by Boxable. The challenge was to see how many times you can hit the ball in 30 seconds. And first up was Dennis. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You got a job on the spot by the way, make a hell of yeah? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a boxer ball is a great piece of equipment you can use to sharpen up, work on your punches and train your hand-eye coordination, all whilst having a bit of fun. And next up was the run for ball, Johnny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five. 
Next up is Big John. Now let's hope he doesn't think that the boxer ball is a chicken ball dipped in sweet and sour sauce, or he'll try and eat it. Anyway, let's see how he gets on. Well, you ready? Yeah. Give him one. Come on, give him one. Ready for practice. Good practice. How do you do it? Hit the ball. Oh my god. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, <laughs> first off, first off. Nine. Fucking hell. Ten. One big jump. Twelve. Nine. Oh, Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> He's averaging yeah. one a second at the moment. Nine. Twenty. One. Headbutt the. <laughs> 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 this is bloody hard. I'm Four, sorry. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Stop. Twenty-five. <laughs> Now, if you think you can do better than this lot, go and buy yourself a boxable now. The link is in the description of this video. Go on, test yourself. Next up, the Wilbertross. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 60, Association here. No, association, yeah, association, I mean association. So just so I say red, you say colour. What? Right. It's, right. So it's got to be associated with a word. So if I said, it's word association, if I said boxing, you could say glove, football. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to relate to what it's, it's got to be the last word. You can't relate it to the word before because sometimes so the brain tricks you. Well, I'll do a practice round. Well, I'll do a practice, practice, practice round. round. I start, William. Ready? Water. Fluid. Cup. Tea. Drink. Capri Sun. Juice. Rabina. Orange. Blackcurrant. Fruit. Lemon. Banana. Pear. Apple. Pineapple. Spike. Fawn. Herb. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Spike here. Oh, I see. No, no, you're thinking of Spike, but I said it's got to be. It's got to be. What did you say? I said hurt. Hurt. <laughs> 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 no, but you get the game, yeah? Oh, I got it. You can't say two words, it's only got to be one word. Right, I'll start with another one. Football. Foot. Toes. Now. Shin. Bone. Ow. Leg. Meat. Chicken. Poultry. Poor eggs. Duck. Breast. Bra. Tit. Titties. Boobs. Milk. <laughs> Dairy. Cow. Goat's milk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm being fair to Denny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Why? Why? It's like killing your calories. Oh, Dennis. Got a fire guy. Come on, I'm a bit more. I'm out of time. I reckon right. Dennis can do three. Three. Oh, he's fine. Out of the size. He's six foot six. Yeah, he's, he's half the size. He's half the size. Can't be sorry. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Go <Right>, to <laughs> He's trying to make you look better. It's sort of a. Oh, is that for, it's a pube in there. Well, that's half. 
two and a half to go. That's a proper one. That's a yeah, that's a proper one. Yeah. One and a half to go. Oh, no, no, that can't. He's got one to go, he's got one to go. One to go. That's a big one. A bit, no, a, bit, a big one that will satisfy yeah. the end. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's fine. That's it, it's good. Go try. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take Dennis's last two. No, I, I, oh, 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 you're, you're on a diet. diet. You're on a diet. No, you're on a diet. diet. No, fuck it is. That's very good. Enjoyed that? That's yeah, brilliant, wasn't it? Really good. Any trainees you want to take home with you? You want to take any back? I'm a man. Fucking send me here, though. Cheers, John. Thanks for having me. And thanks for the arrow bow, Dennis. I really appreciate that. Where are the arrow bows? In these arrow bows. That's why they call him Dennis the Menace. He'd snatch back his arrow bows from Big John. Crafty little bugger. He's a bloody menace, that Dennis. Oh. And with that, Dennis the Menace made his mark and he sealed it with a signature in a book, along with Louis. Cheers, John. Thank you very much. All the best, mate. Dennis. Hey, remember, if there's anything to do with him, training wise or sorting out the virgin wise, give us a shout. I need all love I can get. All right. <laughs> I'm here for you. Bah, bah. Menace and a menace, menace. Episode 4 with Dennis McCann was complete. Thanks to everyone that's been watching so far and stay tuned for the next episode. And remember, once a Bosch soldier, always a Bosch soldier. Bosch.